Sometimes I'm the one that resists. I think I can handle it on my own. Yeah. Anybody else? But again and again, he just reminds me. That's the reason I'm here. Again. I've been, I've been coming to this church for over 20 years. Again and again and again and again. I've been a Christian literally for over 38 years now. Just following the Lord again and again and again. I th you know, huh, and Dad, I think 75 years. Again and again and again. How old were you when you got saved? 16. 16. She's, so 80, 84 years ago. No. 82 years ago. 
So we got to get our math right. But listen, I, I want to just ask you, uh, as we sing that song just one more time, I want you to, to know God wants to meet you. Don't, don't be thinking about somebody else right now. Just, just between you and the Lord, again and again and again, He wants to touch your life. I, maybe it's an awareness of when we sing holy, 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 as we did this earlier, when we actually say that, do you know wholeness comes towards us? Yes. It's not just that the, there's a reflection. It just comes and hits us back. When we are able to open our mouth and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. When we say that, it literally means that wholeness and holiness moves into our hearts. That which we behold, we become. That which we praise, we become. Did you, did you get that? And it's almost like God wants to do some more surgery. You know, there's, there's little things like, and we're in this series called Perception, how we perceive things. There's a cataract surgery now. It's a laser. And, and just that little cut causes you to see things better. Lord, cut our, cut our eyes open in a way, our hearts, our, our minds in a way where we see things. Let's just press in. And the altar's open if you want to come. Again and again and again. Oh, well, I've been there once. Again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm.